Let's talk about Sinclair, the Pride of Mansa Musa. In this game, you're helping the university to gain the recognition it deserves by enrolling, teaching, and graduating students in the disciplines of theology, mathematics, law, and astronomy. And by doing so, you will earn prestige. Whoever has the most prestige at the end of the scheme will win. On your turn, you can perform two different actions. One of the actions you can do is to enroll a student. You will take a student from one of the disciplines and place it underneath the matching intro level class. Another action you can do is to establish an advanced class. You will take an advanced class from the market and pay the matching book cost and then add that class to your school. Another action you could do in the main action in the scheme is to teach a class. You will place a a student onto that class in your tech tree in your school and then perform the action of that discipline. So if you are teaching a theology class, you will be able to spend salt in order to build a mosque and gain books. If you are teaching a mathematics class, you will be able to spend books in order to build a wall and gain gold. If you are teaching an astronomy class, you will be able to spend gold, establish a trading post, and gain salt. If you are teaching a law class, you will be able to place down your crown and gain skills on your own player board as a result. And in addition to the various resources that you might need in order to place one of your tokens, you will also need knowledge. There is shared knowledge between all the players in the disciplines, and then you will also have your own personal knowledge. Shared knowledge is gained as more and more students in that discipline are enrolled, and personal knowledge is gained as more and more of your tokens are placed onto the board. Another action you can do in this game is to graduate a student and gain one of these graduation tiles, which may be worth points at the end of the game. And finally, the last action available is to exchange favor. So if you are low on a certain type of resource, that is an action you might want to take. Game end is triggered once the last Sincori tile is placed in the mathematics section. Those Sincori tiles are placed by the various players as they gain them by placing tokens in the various regions. And then you will have an end of game scoring of the mathematics region and you will determine who has the most walls vertically and horizontally and they will gain prestige tokens as a result. And then at the end of the game, you will see how much your prestige tokens are worth by looking at the library. By placing books in the library, anytime you spent a book, you, will, you were determining how much each color was going to be worth. The most color in a certain row is worth two points. The second most is worth one point. So some tokens might not be worth any points at all. And then whoever has the most prestige at the end of this game will win. So if you're looking for a really fantastic and thematic game, then definitely check out Sincore.